close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and pay attention to the breathing. Notice how it feels. If it feels comfortable, keep it up long and deep. If it doesn't feel comfortable that way, you can change it. Shorter, faster, slower, deeper, or shallow, heavier, lighter. What kind of breathing feels good right now? What kind of breathing would be energizing if you're tired? Or if you're feeling tense, what kind of breathing would be relaxed? Try to stay on top of what you need right now, the body needs right now. When the body is a comfortable place to stay, then it's easy for the mind to settle down. This is how you can develop good qualities in mind, like mindfulness, alertness. It's in this developing that we're actually practicing the Buddha's teachings today, as you know, as Asalaha Bucca. This commemorates the date when the Buddha gave his first sermon and got his first noble disciple. So it's both the beginning of the, the Sasana Dham, the Sasana Dhamma, which is the teachings of the Dharma, and it's also the beginning of the Noble Sangha. And we pay our homage to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha today. And how do we do that? Well, we do it with offerings, but we also do it through the practice. As the Buddha said, the, the best way of paying respect to the Buddha is through practice. So right now, right now we're practicing. If the Buddha were to come right now and ask what you're doing, he said, we're practicing your Dhamma. That would satisfy him. Because he didn't spend all that time becoming Buddha just so that people could offer candles and incense and flowers to him. He wanted something really good to come out of this in a sense of good for everybody. So he found the Dharma and was able to teach the Dharma. Not everybody who gains awakening can teach, but he was able to teach. So we commemorate that fact, and he was able to get results. Someone else was able to touch the deathless on that day. And so we pay homage to these people by practicing the way they did. The Buddha was a person of wisdom. We try to develop wisdom. He was a person of compassion. We try to develop compassion. He was a person of mindfulness and alertness. Okay, we try to develop ours. And in that way, we show homage to him in a way that really would satisfy him. And we benefit, of course, as well. So think of this. This is the beginning of the Rains Retreat tomorrow. Think of this, how you might pay homage to the Buddha through practice after, every day, every day. And we bow down in order to show respect. But real respect comes from inside. If you take his teachings and actually put them to use to get some purpose out of them, get some benefit from them. So make sure that your benefit is all around. There's, there's generosity, there's virtue, and there's meditation. And in the meditation there's concentration and there's discernment, mindfulness, all kinds of good qualities you can develop in mind. Good quality, that's good quality is sort of good not only while you're meditating, but also as you go through life. The more mindful you are as you go through your daily life, the better. The more alert, the better. And so in this way, by paying homage to the Buddha, you benefit in a very direct and immediate way. So think of this, and you're also paying respect to yourself. You went to all this trouble to become a human being. It's not easy, you know. There are a lot of animals out there. Listen to the crows right now. They'd be much happier as human beings, but they're, they're just crows. But you've got the opportunity right now, so pay respect to that. Pay respect to your old karma, your old merit by developing it into new and better merit right now. Because this is why we respect the Buddha, is because he taught us how to respect ourselves, to respect our desire for true happiness in a way that really gives results. So remember this as you go through the day. You're paying respect to the Buddha and paying respect to yourself at the same time when you practice the Dharma. <laughs>